Hello and welcome to the eBay auction um, for the Compass Amiga 934 birth touring caravan. Comes with um, wastewater away container, freshwater container with whale pump that just tucks away into that little hole there. Um, the 240 hookup. One or two little dimples down this side in the bodywork. There's a couple here, a couple there, little one there, one up here, and a little bit down bottom here. Bit of a dimple there, one there. Um, Caravan were built in uh, one here. Just showing you, then you, you get an idea of what this is like. Um, Built in, I was told in 1990 stroke, uh, sorry, 1991 stroke 1992. Um, please bear in mind, this is um, a cold water caravan only. It doesn't have um, a shower or a hot water system. But of course you plug up on site, use their facilities, uh, not a problem. It has a new um, jockey wheel. Comes with a TV aerial and also a hitch lock. It's a type that you undo with with um, an Allen key and then uh, uh, a lockable key. Under the front cover here, there's um, a brand new leisure battery. Brand new leisure battery in the corner there. I put that on on the 9th of this month, November. Um, you've got the hookup lead, two gas bottles, spare wheel, um, stabilising bar. If you have this fitting fitted to your car, you've got a stabilising bar there. Also uh, a leg winder for the caravan legs and the big spanner here for replacing removing the gas bottles, a couple of blocks to put under your legs, uh, TV aerial to hook up to the to the outside TV aerial. Oh, this, um, this lock doesn't work, the thing's missing off the back of it, but it locks up on this one okay and doesn't flap about when, when you're driving. Um, tours well, brakes work okay, uh, handbrake works, got uh, tyres with plenty of tread on them, I'll just show you them and then you, you know exactly what uh, the situation is. Look at the back, there's no marks on the back, although the paintwork's a bit faded and somebody has uh, uh, repainted this caravan at some time. It's not the best in the world but it's clean, presentable, not, not knocked about really. It comes with uh, caravan step to get in the caravan. Light above the door. Stable type door. You can have the top open and the bottom closed if you like. One or two dimples down this side. I'll just show you this tyre. Like I say, one or two dimples down this side. There's one here, size of my finger, another one there, a bit here, um, another one there, just to give you an idea of the condition of the caravan. Not too bad really, considering it's from 1991, it's over 26, 27 years old. There you go, I'll give you a shot of it all. So what I'll do next, I'll show you all the bits that are going to be coming with the caravan, then we'll have a look inside. Um, the hook-up lead for the um, charging of the leisure battery from the car is damaged, unfortunately, and we'll need replacing. Um, 
I don't know how to do it, but there'd be a better mind out there than me who uh, would be able to cope with that, no problem. When you store the wheel pump away, um, be, please be aware, this uh, slide up cover is, is cracked, so it doesn't go fully all the way up to the top. But just to let you know, then you know what kind of condition uh, everything is in. So you've seen the outside of the caravan, and I'll show you now the bits and pieces that will be coming with the caravan, um, and great for in the awning or outside. So first of all, um, there's a set of pans and frame pans there. Uh, here we've got an electric uh, um, hot air blowing heater for in the awning. Toaster for inside the caravan, all working. Kettle. Microwave. And then there's this oven, electric oven with a grill and two hobs on the top. Um, a rack for airing, stroke drying your clothes off. Dust pan and brush. Outside chair. Basin for the sink. Um, pull out washing line. A few pegs. Towing mirrors for the car, for the, the extension on the door mirrors, and a basin for the sink. Also this table. This table also sets up inside the caravan, but it's great in the awning. And another chair here. So you have two outside chairs, a table, mirrors, pegs, basin, rack for clothes, a few pots and pans, frame pans, electric uh, heater, toaster, kettle, microwave, Electric oven and rings with a grill. And then also, there's a few pots and pans on here and a, and a little kettle. These are going to come with the barbecue. This barbecue is fairly new. Um, full gas bottle with regulator. It has a burning ring there. Lift the lid. And there's a rack across here, and then of course the, the burner's there, a little side place, gas knobs and controls, um, it's on wheels, little pot, little pot there, and then there's a few utensils, uh, three utensils here that's coming with it, and then also it has uh, a cover there to protect it from the weather. So all in all it's going to become fairly well kitted out. Um, all these things can be stored in the awning. There you have it, these are the extras that are going to come with it. And now we'll take you inside and let you have a look. So as you come into the caravan, like I say it has the stable door, you can have the bottom closed and the top open if you wish, like that. Light above the door, which we've already seen. As you come into the caravan, um, the back area is a seating area, stroke sleeping area. With your two single seats here, with uh, a table that just slides out of the run at the back, at the base of this table, and this table also makes um, the base for this first bottom bunk. Uh, oh, it's going to come with a little footstool as well there. Uh, the top bunk is this section, which slides out and makes the top bunk, which I'll set up and show you later. Uh, two cupboards above, plenty of space. Yeah, we've got a, a smoke alarm there. Need, we'll need a new battery. Light above working. Uh, to the side of the rear street, rear, rear seating stroke sleeping area, you've got the toilet compartment. Next door to that, the gas fire and wardrobe. Now in the toilet, it's a, a porta potty. Window with um, a blackout blind. Rented to the top. Also, um, the lights working in here. Uh, glass door cabinet. You just 
pop open like so then you've got um, a little sink here I'm sure that's working, cold water only remember no hot water in the caravan drain it away and then this little sink um, flips back up like this and you fasten it with this little tie back Potter potty all in good working order, fairly new just separates in two for easy, easy carrying and, and um, cleaning out seat on the toilet uh, pressed by this little squeeze here to flush away then you have the gas fire which works lights up very very easy and it keeps it nice and warm in here <coughs> and in there you can see the flame to show that the gas fire is on I'll just switch that off there we go, gas fire's off above the gas fire there's a wardrobe I'll show you near a rail at the top there for hanging things with a shelf above and this area there's a base there which lifts up extra storage underneath for uh, suitcases and things like that, bags opposite the fire there's uh, the sink tap works on the sink cold water again below the sink is a fridge and this fridge works perfectly fine on the gas and on the 240 volt and at the minute I've got it turned on the gas and I'll just show you the uh, the uh, pilot light to show that it's lit in the back of the fridge so you know that's working on the gas you can see the flame there inside so that's working on the gas at the moment works perfectly fine on the 240 volt hookup but never had it working on the 12 volt but you're on site you don't really need uh, to be using your gas and things as your your electricity comes with um, the site of your the, the, the price of your site fees then to the front, you just give you a front seating area. Upholstery is in good condition, no rips, tears. Caravan's dry, uh, no saggy floors. I'll set this bed up for you after, then you can see. You've um, a tabletop there with a couple of drawers underneath, three drawers. You've a pull out drawer at this side and that side. Storage above, plenty of cupboard space above. In here there's um, a rack for plates and cups etc and a few glasses are coming with it. In this cupboard there's a fire extinguisher, a um, fire blanket and um, back there there's a bit of a chopping board. Cooker, got the gas rings working, set it all up so you can see. Turn them off, get them out in here now. And the grill, the grill's on, the grill works. The only thing that doesn't work here is, is the cooker below. I uh, just can't seem to get that to light. But as you recall, um, there is an electric oven coming with it. Same again, you plug it up on site, you're paying for the electric, you might as well just use it. Uh, the light's working in here, I've got this light above that's working. And above vent, uh, cracking this arm here. Light at the front's working, this spotlight's working, but can't seem to get that one to work. Under this bunk, there's the full awning that's coming with the caravan. Um, full awning, a couple of boxes of pegs, the poles, etc. Little mallet there for knocking the pegs in. Full awning under this side. Loads of storage again under this side, and I'm under here. This white board here uh, slides out and it forms the, the center of the double bed, which I'll set up and show you after. Plenty of storage under there again. You would Lydia covers the cooker, one here that covers over the sink. 
like so. Ends up looking like that. Plug sockets there, they are working. The two 40 volt plug sockets, they all work. There's, there's uh, two there and um, four over here. This little table just slides out and then you can store it down the side here so it's out of your way. Little control panel, very easy. Up for car battery, down for van battery which is on at the minute. Um, water pump, lights and auxiliary and fuses. And also in this, back in this bathroom, back in this toilet area, the big table that I showed you earlier can be stored in here but also there's this table and what this table does you can attach it to the front here just slides into here and then you've got a table for in front also that big table from the from earlier that that can also fit there or using the awning and um, I'll set up the front bed and the bunk beds and you can see what that's all about Uh, I made a little mistake there, the actual bed base for the front front beds is made up of the little table that was over there and you remember the one that was in this toilet, the bigger table, which is there. So then you so you lie these two between, pull your back cushions down. this makes up your double bed at the front. Um, the double beds at the bunks at the back, you put the laps in between and that makes the bottom bunk out of the cushions, the seating cushions and the top bunk which remember slides back into here and bolts back in. So you've top bunk bottom bunk. So you can sleep four comfortably in here. Um, you could push to five with a small child and two adults in the front bed there. Also these bunks they have a curtain that slides across all the way across. This curtain slides all the way across to turn this to turn both areas into private areas. Well there you have it. That's the inside of the van. Um, Bought this catch on this door here, there's a, there's a broken catch on there and there's a few extra pans in there and things as I recall. So there you have it, uh, four berth car caravan, um, all complete inside, plenty of life left in it, just a case of put your clothes in, put your bedding in, put your food in, hook up and away you go. So happy bidding, I'm going to start it at 99p, no reserve um, and good luck with the auction and thank you for watching the video. Bye for now.